All right, so we are hopping straight into this video today. This is a custom unit I created using a 20 inch closure from Queen Like Hair along with a 22, 24, and 26 inch bundles from Beauty Forever Hair. Now, I did have to go ahead and mix and match this bundle and closure set because every time I would order from Beauty Forever Hair, due to coronavirus, they would kick my order out because they no longer had the closure that I needed. So I did have to order this closure separately, but I have previously worked with Queen Like Hair and I've fallen in love with their closures. I previously did a quick weave unit with a seven by seven inch closure and let me tell you it was the truth so i decided to go ahead and order another one from queen like hair first things first i'm parting this closure down the middle because this is going to be a middle part wig so i wanted to go ahead and put that part into perspective just so i can see how i'm going to be working After that, I section about maybe two, one to two centimeters off of the front of the closure. And these are going to be my reserved pieces for my highlights. I do go ahead and braid these pieces down just to keep them out of the way while I go ahead and figure out my ombre and how I'm going to do it exactly. Now, being that I'm going to be working with these front two pieces first, I'm just ponytailing the rest of this unit to keep it out of the way while I work with those two pieces first. My bleach is a nice runny consistency because I know that I'm going to be using plenty of it on this unit being that this basically this whole unit is going to be eventually bleached. So I am going ahead and applying those first two sections with bleach first because I want these to process the most. I want these to be my lightest pieces. These are going to be my strongest highlights. Now I don't go completely down to the root because I do want it to look like scalp as far as those two pieces being maybe like a maybe like two months worth of new growth having to them. So I don't completely take it to the root. And throughout this tutorial, you will learn that you are going to have to apply, like thoroughly apply that bleach because you do not want any spotting, none whatsoever, especially not with this ombre effect. No, ma'am, it's not going to be cute. Just go ahead and thoroughly. Don't be scared. Get the big bleach, get the big developer. Don't even waste your time with those little packets or anything like that. Get the big, big stuff because for this, you're going to need it. So moving on to the back of this hair, I'm slapping it on those ends. And I do make sure that I thoroughly coat those ends. Now, I 
do use a comb to kind of comb each section to make sure that I have each strand thoroughly coated in bleach. And being that I go ahead and apply it to each section, I'm now going in with the brush and just kind of almost like feathering it to make it not have so much of a harsh bleach line because when it comes to the ombre effect you don't really want any harsh lines you don't want to really see where you ombre the hair you just kind of want it to mix so that was the purpose of me taking that brush and kind of just feathering it almost i do go ahead and wrap this in foil left it for about 10 minutes realized 10 minutes wasn't quite long enough so i did leave it for an additional 10 minutes so 20 minutes total on that bottom ombre The next ombre effect I am applying that second layer I do continue to add bleach to that bottom part because I, it's not as light as I want it to be completely and I knew that all of the rest of the hair would have to continue processing so I still apply bleach to that bottom ombre At this point i kind of ran out of bleach mix so my mom is helping me um mix it up i kind of had to teach her because she does not do stuff like this so it was pretty funny At this point, I don't know if y'all have realized yet, but that picture in the back is looking really crooked. <laughs> and it's actually not crooked. It's just the wig stand. And this is not even a real wig stand. I want to say this is a microphone pole, but you know, you got to fake it till you make it. My dad actually kicked my wig stand and it would have really been crooked because he kicked it so hard that the thing was like doing the shoulder lean or like the bank head bounce or something like i just don't understand so i'm waiting for my new wig stand to come in the mail however i did want to go ahead and get this video made for you guys so i just had to fake it till i made it and here we are so yes if you do have ocd don't worry in my house those pictures are not really crooked it's just just the angle of the camera at this moment So I do go ahead and foil that second ombre in. So I do go ahead and take that foil off of those front two pieces because they're light enough, but I don't want them to continue to process as I do have to finish working with the rest of the unit. So I just want them to process at a regular speed. So 
right now I'm currently slapping the rest of the bleach on top of the unit the unit came in like a natural brown color you know how that is it's like a one one B kind of thing but I wanted to lighten it to about a two in between like a two and a four so that that ombre can just really catch your eye Right, and we are back with a shampooed and conditioned unit after bleaching I love to make sure that I condition my units because you will have so much less frizz once conditioning especially working with bleach After blow drying I am going in with my Conair Infinity Pro I want to say this is a one and three-fourths of an inch um, flat iron and Erica J put me on I was watching one of her videos and she was using this and I have you can't tear me away from it like I love this flat iron And I really love how wide it is, especially working with long units. Yeah, it just really eliminates some of that time. So after fully straightening my wig, I'm going in with my She Is Bomb wax stick and I'm getting ready to hot comb that closure and just make everything flat. Um, also, please, somebody let me know down in my comments below a great hot comb because this one, I think I bought this one from like the beauty supply store real fast just because I needed one really quick. And it is really crappy. Like, it shuts off in the middle of you working. I just... I had a good one before, but I just really don't know where my mom got that one from. So, please let me know in the comments down below. A great hot comb. Now 
after hot combing that closure, I am going in with my hot curler and just giving this some body wave curls, some really loose curls. This really was just for the purpose of the video because I was shipping this to my client and um, I just really wanted to do this for the purpose of the video so that you guys can see the real ombre in effect and see how it layered up and see how it just came out really bomb. you guys so this is the final effect as you guys can see all of those curls all of everything all that ombre came out really nice i do feel like these colors layered up really nicely together i do like this combination all this honey brown brown blonde everything came out wonderful my client did love this so please if you are new to my channel and you loved this video please give it a great big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.